abrazo, me complace estar con ustedes nuevamente en otro video de nuestro canal. Y como ya saben, en algunos países los gobiernos han estado ayudando a sus ciudadanos con determinados tipos de ayuda. Por ejemplo, en México dieron un paquete con comida. En Estados Unidos dieron los famosos 1.200 dólares y acá en Cuba... Y acá en Cuba, nosotros los cubanos que somos tan imaginativos, vamos a imaginarnos que alguien nos toca la puerta y nos trae un paquete de ayuda gratis que contiene, por ejemplo, un rollito de papel sanitario. Unos cuantos limoncitos, ¿por qué no?, que hace un tiempo atrás se pusieron muy de moda. Una librita de arroz, o lo que ustedes quieran ponerle, cualquier cosa. ¿Mm? ¿No pudiste imaginarte lo que te pedí? Yo tampoco. Pero para que veas que hay lugares en donde sale el sol, yo te traje un video muy emotivo y que te va a gustar además por la reacción de las personas y por el mensaje que trae implícito. Disfrútalo. Fifty thousand dollars was the amount of money I could convince one of my sponsors, NordVPN, to give me so I could give it away. Como nosotros acá quien, quien nos patrocina es Etesa, vamos a convencer a Etesa para que nos haga una donación para nosotros entonces repartirle el dinero. So this today is, this is like a, a, a direct action project. Direct action is my favorite way to give. That means you just give money directly to people. Rather than going through a charity, which maybe takes a small percentage for its overhead or anything like that, you just, just literally give money to people. But you have to be really thoughtful when finding people to give money to. So I asked my friend Mike to help me out. How you doing, man? You've been, You've been good? I've been good, man. We blindly ask people on social media, if, you know, if they've been laid off from their job or if they were having a tough financial time. And we responded by saying that we wanted to give them a, a care package. The package is all over. Here's some right here. Some this stuff is a commodity them. right here. It's a hot commodity. I tried to get um, some masks. I couldn't get them all by today. So the idea here is that the the actual care package is more just an excuse for us to give the cash. That's right. Okay. What are we doing now? All right. So um, we have two people that are kind of close. Hopefully they'll want to share their stories with us and and they'll appreciate the care packages. Elijah, you coming? <laughs> yes. Now, not everybody wanted to be on camera or to share their stories, so we just we just sent them money. But some people did want to be on camera and did want to share their story and were local. Mind just reading a little of what this, this person said to you? Yeah, I can't work anymore and my fiance is the sole provider for us. On top of that, she's the primary care, my primary caregiver. With COVID-19, her pay was cut in half. So, so like many, we're struggling to pay the mortgage and groceries. And he knows we're coming cool. to visit him right now? Yeah, he does. How's it going? How you doing? Yeah, it's nice out today, right? I don't have my gloves on, but I'm, I've am i been spraying my hands, you know. I appreciate it. Also giving people just a thousand dollars cash. Oh, no shit. Yeah, and... <laughs> oh, man. Now, his wife there is the sole breadwinner, but because of uh, COVID-19, oh, her hours have been cut in half. Mm -hmm. How is that, how is that pay cut impacting your ability to, you know, pay the bills? It yeah. definitely puts the stress <laughs> on everything, just... Uh, with mortgage and then just care down the road for me with ALS. It's kind of like that's one more added pressure and stress to just think about. He shared with us the, the story of when he learned he had ALS. It was a reminder that everyone has a story, everyone has struggles, and perspective really helps you appreciate what good you have in life. Right. Bye, guys. Bye. Best of luck to you. Right, I know about like, the fact that he has something like ALS and he's smiling and he's happy. What does that make you feel like? Um, well, it makes me feel grateful for what I have. It's not much, but it's a safe place to lay our heads, and I'm grateful for it. And I have my mom that's depending on me for help. I filled out for unemployment, so I'm waiting on that, but I'm not giving up. I have dreams that I will accomplish in my life. How are you? Nice to meet you. Guys, a blessing. I will hug you, but you know, yeah, you have to Mike and I are going around giving a thousand dollars cash. There's so much value in taking the time to listen to others. It's, it's one thing to read a billboard that says, we're all in this together. 
But to actually take the time to learn what a stranger's day-to-day is, is to appreciate that your problems are no greater or, or less than anyone else's. Thank you. So um, I haven't worked in a month um, due to the COVID-19 pandemic and it started with just a day at work as usual on March 13th, which was a Friday. I'll never forget it. And um, I went from having a booked day to literally only servicing two people and not going back to work. It's been tough. Um, I live here with my parents and my four, three siblings, four of us. Um, my parents have been working for um, Anaheim Marriott, the corporation, for about 30 years. And this is the first time that, you know, they've been out of work. So right now I have like no income at the moment, but my boyfriend, he's been helping me out, like with buying me food and stuff. And so it's been trying to hang on to whatever we have right now. Yeah. Hey. Pienso hacer algunos sorteos acá en el canal, así que suscríbete. Ahora somos cuatro vatos, entonces no tiene gracia hacer un sorteo ahora que somos cuatro vatos. Pero cuando seamos en personas voy a empezar a hacer sorteo. No sé qué tal sea, no sé si, si me tilden de, de asalariado, de mercenario, todo es posible. Pero que voy a hacer sorteo, voy a hacer sorteo. Por lo menos me voy a arriesgar a ver qué pasa. So uh, in the end, I connected with about 20 people. Some I connected with in person, like you saw in this video. Some I connected with, like, you know, on the phone. Some just Twitter DMs, and then I cash app them a thousand bucks. The last 30 grand, I connected with these awesome volunteers out of the Bay Area. They're doing something called like the 1K Project, where they find families that are, you know, like about to lose their, you know, their way of life, and they give them a thousand bucks a month. So I gave the other thirty thousand dollars to these volunteers who are, are spreading it amongst a bunch of families that they met and they vetted which is wonderful if you're a rich person by the way that's a great way to help people that are really in need and give money directly to them um, info on that is below and and then I do want to give uh, a little bit more love to NordVPN um, the the sponsor the company that like gave me the cash to do all this super awesome of them uh, to be hip to this um, if, if you don't use a VPN you should you should use theirs because they're cool uh, link below for, for that but thank you again Nord that was awesome <sighs> okay you know, my, my biggest takeaway from this whole endeavor is, is just to be reminded how important it is to be nice to people. Everybody's dealing with something, so just, just be nice, especially right now. Okay. Como nunca se sabe qué es lo que puede pasar acá, a mí me surge una duda. ¿Qué pasaría si alguien en Cuba se dedica a hacer lo que está haciendo este señor? Si sabe la respuesta, dímelo acá abajo en los comentarios. Uh, good news. So I sent this video to NordVPN for um, just to like approve it before I sent it live. And they uh, they liked the video and so much so that they agreed to give me another $20,000 to give away. NordVPN, thank you. You guys rock. And um, that's $20,000 that's going to get to go to um, a whole bunch uh, more families that, that could really use it. It's great. Psyched. Okay. Bye for good.
espero que este video te haya gustado tanto como a mí quise compartirlo contigo porque me pareció algo refrescante para los que estamos de este lado del charco que estamos agobiados con todos los problemas que tenemos acá y todo el mundo haciendo videos de lo mismo de las colas y las colas y las colas y para los que están del otro lado del charco que tienen sus familiares acá decirles que estamos en la área de la información y pienso que sí, que hay mucha razón en lo que se dice en el video que en estos tiempos difíciles las personas deben ser más consecuentes con sus acciones hacia, hacia el prójimo, más allá de la función que se esté realizando en la sociedad. Nos vemos la semana que viene en otro video más. Recuerda suscribirte. Mientras tanto te sigo dejando contenido para que refresques la mente que no todo puede ser problema en la vida. Nos vemos la semana próxima.